Hey everyone, so in this video we have a differential equation. Um, it looks like it's a separable differential equation, so that means that we can separate it. We can have all of the x's with the dx on one side and all of the y's with the dy on the other side. So to do that, we'll divide both sides by the square root of y plus y. So that'll give us dy over this. So we have dy over the square root of y plus y. And then we're going to multiply by dx and divide by this. So in other words, multiply by the reciprocal of this quantity. So that would be dx over the square root of x plus x. So again, what we did was we separated it. We, had all, we want all the y's with the dy on one side and all of the x's with the dx on the other side. So we have dy, so we divide by this, so we get that. And then you just multiply by the reciprocal to get that. Once you get here, you're able to integrate both sides. And the hard part about this problem is knowing how to integrate this. So how do you do it? Well, this is a pretty tough, I guess a calc two integral, but it's actually pretty tough. So even if you've already taken calc two, it might be pretty tough. So one way to do it is to let u be the square root of y. Let me, let me do it over here. So u equals the square root of y. Okay, u equals the square root of y. And then normally you would find your du at this, at this point. However, the square root of y is y to the one half, right? So that requires like some messy fractions. So it's easier if you square both sides. Now take the derivative of both sides. So on the left hand side, you get 2u du. And here you just get dy. That's that differential notation we're using for the derivative. You, use, you learn that when you first learn u sub. That's it, we're ready to make our substitution here. So dy is 2u du, so we have 2u du. Then on the bottom here we have, uh, well, the square root of y is u squared. So this is u squared. Uh, no, 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 yeah. The right. square root of y is u. y is u squared. Almost messed up. Right. The square root of y is u. y is u squared. Looks okay. We're going to do the same thing over here, right? Except uh, to, as a formality, I'll use a different letter. So we'll let w equal the square root of x. So w squared is equal to x. So 2w dw is equal to dx. Same thing, just using different letters. So over here, dx is 2w dw, 2w dw, and the square root of x is equal to w, so this is w plus, and then x is equal to w squared, good stuff. At this point you'll notice that you can pull out a u and cancel the u's, likewise you can pull out a w and cancel the w's. So let's do that, so we get 2 over, and I'll pull out the, I'll, I'll pull out the u on the bottom, so 1 plus u du, yeah, looks okay. And then same thing here, so we get 2 w dw um, w1 plus w. Yeah, it looks okay. All right, now it looks like we can uh, cancel the u's and cancel the w's, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we get that and that. So we get 2 over 1 plus u du equals 2 over 1 plus w dw. Yep, looks all right. And this is a really easy integral, right? You would make a u sub here, and then um, it's just going to give you an ln. So um, I'm out of letters, right? I've used, we've used x, uh, we've used y, uh, we've used u, um, we've used w. Um, I'm going to, you know what, let's use alpha. Let's just break the rules. So alpha is 1 plus u. So d alpha is du. So if you were doing this one, you would get 2 over alpha, d alpha, fancy stuff. And then same thing here, right? You could use beta for this one if you really wanted to show the work. I just wanted to use Greek letters. D beta is equal to dw. So then here you would get um, 2 d beta over beta. And you don't have to show all this work. This is 2 ln absolute value of alpha, but alpha is 1 plus u. So I'll just write 1 plus u. So you can go from here to here. That's what I really wanted to do. And again, when you, whenever you have uh, two integrals like this, you only have to add the c one time, so don't worry about it. So this is 2 ln absolute value beta, so 1 plus w plus c. So just add it once. Because if you add it here and you add it here, you can subtract them, right? And you can just rename your c, so it doesn't really matter. Um, u was the square root of y, right? That's u. So this is 2 ln 1 plus square root of y equals 2 ln 1 plus, and then w was the square root of x, square root of x plus c. And this would be an implicit solution to the uh, differential uh, equation. You could, you could go further and uh, solve for y. Um, let, let's do it. I was, I was just going to say, let's stop, but let, let's find an explicit solution. So explicit means that 
you actually solve this for y. So I'm going to write it again up here so we can see. So 2 ln 1 plus square root of y equals 2 ln 1 plus square root of x plus c. So if you're solving this for y, maybe you start by dividing by the 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So you get ln 1 plus square root of y. This is just optional. Um, just wanted to show you how to do it in case you're curious. Plus c over 2. Now to get rid of the e, uh, the ln, <laughs> we're going to use e, right? Because the inverse of the natural log is e to the x. So we exponentiate both sides, right? We exponentiate both sides. And when you do that, um, these cancel, right? So you get absolute value 1 plus square root of y. Here we can rewrite this. This is actually e to the natural log of 1 plus square root of x times e to the c over 2, right? And then these cancel. So we get 1 plus square root of y, absolute value, equals, I'm going to put this first, e to the c over 2, 1 plus square root of x. Let me explain this step, because sometimes it's not clear how to go from here to here. So we exponentiated both sides, right? And then this becomes a times. And the reason this is times is because when you multiply it, you're adding the exponents, right? Look, so this plus this. There it is right there. Boom. This plus this. So you're adding the exponents. Um, now you can drop the absolute value. When you drop the absolute value, you have to put a plus or minus. So you get 1 plus square root of y equals plus or minus e to the c over 2, 1 plus square root of x. So why do you put a plus or minus? Let me explain it briefly over here. If you have the absolute value of x equal to the absolute value of y, that means that x and y have the same distance from 0. That means that they're either the same number or they're opposite numbers. So they're the same number or they're opposite numbers. So x is plus or minus y. Same deal here except you have this number here, which doesn't really matter. So they're the same or they're opposite. So whenever you have two absolute values, you drop them both and you put a plus or minus. Um, at this point, this is getting kind of annoying, this quantity here. Let's call it k. So let's rewrite this. And you're allowed to do that, right? You can rename constants all day long, right? You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's all arbitrary. It could be anything, so we just call it k. Uh, to finish, uh, subtract this word, subtract 1. Yeah, it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. And then you would square both sides, and that would be it. So if you square this side, you get y. If you square this, you get parentheses k, 1 plus square root of x, minus 1, and then the whole thing here is squared. So that would be what's called an explicit solution. So whenever you solve for y, it's called an explicit solution. And if you don't solve for y, it's called an implicit uh, solution. That's it.